Hi everyone, it's Tamara here from La La Land Crafts with another card making tutorial. This time I'm using the new clear stamp set Flamazing. I'll be doing some Copic colouring of the image and some of the other elements and then a card making tutorial. So I'll be using the clear stamp set to stamp out my images and my sentiment and I'll be using this piece of pattern paper from the Summer Vacation Paper Pack. So I've just grabbed out my Misty and some Copic Express It cardstock to stamp out my images. So we'll get them pulled out and placed in my Misty. And grab the second image and just get that popped on beside this one. And now I'll get that attached to the front of my Misty door. And because I haven't used this stamp set before, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a prep to make sure there's no impurities on it before I do my stamping. I've grabbed out my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm just going to stamp up the images, give that a press and then I'll give that another stamp just to make sure we've got a nice clear impression of both our flamingos. So we'll give that another stamp and now we've got the perfect impression. So while I've got my Misty out, I'm going to stamp out the sentiment and I'm going to be doing some um, heat embossing. And I'm wanting to match in a pink that goes with this kind of pink to the sky of our background pattern paper. So I've just grabbed out some uh, salt water taffy because I thought that color really went with that sky. Just popped in my sentiment that I'll be using and I've got some clear um, embossing powder to go over the top so that way you can see the color through it. We'll just stamp up it with our taffy and we'll grab out our folded piece of A4 printer paper and open our clear gloss embossing powder. Give that a double sprinkle and a tap and just pop that back into our bottle. I've already preheated my heat tool off camera and I've just gone to the back to remove any particles that might be on the front and now we've got that all nice and melted so we'll set that aside to dry. So now just pop on some music while I do the colouring and then we'll come back with the rest of the card making tutorial.
And with the coloring of the other elements, I have actually done these in my previous videos. So if you wanted to see any of those colors that I've used, just go back and watch my last two videos for the Birds of Paradise and also for the Flame uh, for my Tiki Torches as well. So I'll just finishing up the coloring and then we'll get started with our construction. I'm wanting to build a bit of dimension to my tiki frame so I've actually cut an extra three of each of these tiki frame pieces so that I can stack them all up together. So I'm just going to show you one and then I do the same for all um, four, four sides of my tiki frame and it just gives us a nice amount of dimension without having to use foam tape which when they're a little bit more narrow can be a little bit um, problematic with the foam tape showing through. So you can see how much dimension that's given us. Now I've grabbed the smallest of my stitched oval dies and I'm just going to cut out my sentiment. So I've just popped that through my die cutting machine and now we've got the perfect oval sentiment for the top of our card. Now I've got my card base cut and score to size and I will have all the measurements in the description box below. So we'll just get our pattern piece stuck to the front just kind of lining up all the sides to make sure the front of your card is all fully covered with your pattern paper. So now I'm just going to roughly lay out where I want my frame to go and I've just grabbed out my T-ruler just to make sure that I'm getting it even on all sides. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it at first and then yeah bring out that T-ruler just to make sure you get the exact size that you want. So I'm just going to initially put the first um, of the tiki frame pieces down. So we'll get that secured in place where I'm wanting it. And then the other pieces come in really easy once this first piece is laid. But I'm just wanting to make sure that it is lined up because it is, once I get my T ruler out, I can see that it is actually a little bit off um, at one end. So one end was um, further across than the other. But now that I've grabbed that T ruler out, I've been able to fix that up. So it's going to be sitting in the perfect spot and then all the other pieces will sit nicely. So I've also just grabbed that T ruler just to make sure that's running straight down. So now we'll get our top of our tiki frame in there. So I'm just kind of lining that up with the top edge of the one that we've placed down first. Again, just kind of making sure that that's lined up and straight. Then we'll get our bottom piece down and then that way we can slot in that side piece really easily. So I've got, sorry I'm doing that off camera and I've, I was losing my mind here thinking what have I done and realizing that that has to go on the outside not on the inside. So I'm glad I realized that before I started like cutting or doing something silly. So as you can see it fits perfectly on the outside and those two little pieces fit on the inside. So we'll get that lined up and that one is just easy to put down because it just lines up with everything else. So I want to pop all my flat objects down first and then we can build the dimension up as we build up our scene. So we'll put our tiki torches in at the side kind of centered on either side of that frame. We'll get the second one put in there just wiping off the excess so it kind of put a little bit of a blob down the bottom. So making sure that that's removed before I popped it onto my card front. So now I'm just going to work out where I want my bird of paradise to go on either side. So it partially will be hanging off. So I'm just working out where I want the glue to sit because obviously some pieces will sit over our frame and also over the outside of our card. So you want to make sure that there's no glue put onto those portions. And the same with the other side when we get that attached. So just line that up, give that a good press down and those are our birds of paradise done. Now I'm wanting to pop our rocks in front of that so that kind of hides where those the bases of our birds of paradise and tiki torches sit. So this one I'm going to adhere directly to the base but everything else I'm going to prop up with a bit of foam tape. So I've got some foam tape and foam squares so I use both and again I apologize I'm doing this off camera. Um, so we've got our little um, rock that I'm going to just kind of pop up there so it's kind of up a bit higher than the one behind. This one's going to be partially sitting on our frame so we need another couple of um, squares of foam tape along the bottom 
and then we can put a little bit of glue where it's going to sit on our actual frame itself to make sure that's adhered into place. So I'm just popping a little bit of glue on our frame where that's going to sit and with this rock partly will be over the other rock so we can glue that and then the other part will be sitting off so I've just popped a little bit of foam tape on the portion that's going to sit over the edge of the other rock. Again with our cinnamon it's going to be partially sitting on our frame and then the two edges top and bottom will be sitting over so I've just grabbed out my foam squares again just popped one top one bottom and then we'll get a little bit of glue onto our frame where that sentiment's going to sit so I'm just going to extend that because it's a little bit wider than I initially put and that's our sentiment ready to go so now I'm just going to work out where to place my two flamingos so we're going to slot him in there and this one kind of sitting just a little bit behind the rocks so again I'm going to pop these up with some foam tape so again I'm working out where I want to put the glue to sit on the actual frame itself and where I'll be putting my foam tape on the portions that are going to be sitting over the edge. So I've got all my foam tape put on now and I've taken off my release paper so I'm just going to put on the glue on the sections that are going to be sitting flush against the card or the frame. So I put a little bit a bit further down but that was easy to wipe off. So now we'll pop on our foam tape to our second flamingo and this one's pretty much all foam tape so I've just um, cut a little bit to size for the legs, the head a little bit on the beak and then we'll also put a little bit on the neck of the flamingo. Take off all the release paper and I popped a little bit down onto the bottom feathers as well. So we'll just get that lined up kind of partially sitting in the water as flamingos like to do and that's all secured in place. And this is the finished card project for today. These amazing flamingos are just so gorgeous and you can colour them up in an array of pink colours or pretty much any colour that you'd like. And with the pattern paper it's so easy to make a gorgeous tropical scene for your flamingos to sit. I hope you've enjoyed this card making tutorial. If you have, please hit the like button and if you'd like to see any future videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.